is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Eddie in Boca Raton. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. It is a treasure to have TFNN every hour during the trading day to be there to help you, to guide you, and even to give you some peace of mind or like that, that somebody else is there with you while you're, while you're trading this crazy market, either up or down. Well, listen, we appreciate you growling and prowling us out here because we wouldn't be out here, folks, if we didn't have all you guys, gals, tigers and tigresses as clients. And, you know, the market teaches you every single day, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Make it a great night, folks. Love is responsible for its actions. Everything you think, everything you do has a consequence. And you're going to experience the consequences of your actions in one way or another. All human beings are completely responsible for their actions, even if they don't want to be. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 594, NASDAQ off 371, S&P's off 89, gold contract up $29.60, trading at 1901 an ounce. We had silver up 21 cents, $23.81 an ounce. Light sweet crude down two bucks, $91.44 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year note up 19 ticks, trading 126.13. The 30 year up a full point plus four ticks at 151.31 in King Dollar. King Dollar is up 150 ticks, trading 95.852. Euro is at 113. Yen is at 114.97. The British pound is at 136 to 1 US dollar. iPhone number is 877-927-6648. It was called, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay, so. We look at a SPY, you get some price destruction out here, no doubt about that. Uh, but bottom line, folks, okay, you don't have volume on the way down. Yeah, so this is a consolidation. Right now, we have the NASDAQ down by 2.6%. The S&P is down 1.8%. The, the Dow Industrial is down 1.7%. You can take a look at this uh, SPY out here. The SPY is trading down 880 at 437. You're coming into the last swing point from Monday. Monday was 130. 123,000 uh, shares, 123 million shares, folks, okay? You, you know, we're into that bar, so it's saying, yeah, I can go to the bottom of the bar probably tomorrow, 435. You're not going to, you got right, this get go down here, I don't think we go break these lows. I think this is building cause to break the lows, okay? But I don't see it right now. We look at the NDX 100. What do you have with the NDX 100? We, we have the NDX 100 as this. You get the three Qs, bottom line, same setup, fast price destruction without volume. You're coming into the swing from Monday. We had 80 million. You've done 42. We'll probably do about 60. Uh, and of course, the big number inside the NDX 100 is that it is getting closer to that high volume low. Uh, 353 is the highs of the low. We're at 346. Bottom line, you can see we're already dug into that good time, seven. So your probability is pretty good that you very well may get into the bottom of that high volume low. Even that being said, I just don't think we're going to do it this time. I think we'll, we can go to the Monday low, reject that Monday low, and then go topside once again. Gold. Gold contracts and ABC structure in the way up, folks. It took the B point out today, took it out with volume. And what you're going to see here, we talked about this yesterday, when you're approaching a swing point, folks, you can see this. We're approaching the swing. The swing that we're approaching here was the uh, 1882. You can see, you know, yesterday was an inside day, but the two prior days, you had the expansion of volume up three prior days, actually. First day was 239,000 contracts right underneath it, only made it out to the uh, 1862. Next day, 1876, 231,000 contracts. Next day, 215,000 contracts. Bottom line, you blew it away, blew it away with volume. It's 100.8 to B. The, the A point is uh, 1780. The B point is... Uh, 
1881. So you get 100, 101 bucks, uh, gives you 1946. Now that's if it's a one-to-one -one ABC structure in the way up, folks. That's, that's how that shakes out because what gold loves to do is a one to 1.382 to a 1.50 in the metals and in the equities. That's kind of, that's how it shakes out. Notes and bonds. We take a look at the note and bond market, folks, what you get out here in the note and bond market. Right now you get the 10 year note up 19 ticks. You get low volume. This is a counter trend bounce in a market that wants lower price, meaning lower price, higher yield. And you can see it's pretty clear. First off, we didn't test the swing low from five days ago, which is 125.17. That's going to get tested. You're going up today on 1.8 million. You went down to 3.1. Bottom line, counter trend bounce. We're going to take a look at the 30-year uh, bond. 30-year bond is up one full point plus six ticks. And this one here, oh, this is going to be interesting to see what we've got here. A little different setup. Yeah, it's the same thing. Um, you got, you, what you did is this. You did test and you rejected, with light of volume yesterday, the swing low. The swing low had uh, 540,000 contracts. Yesterday it did 359. Bottom line, you're still going up with way too much, little volume. You're, you're going up with 390,000. King dollar. We take a look at king dollar out here. We have a king dollar. Bottom line, King Dollar's having a hard time holding price. You got a sideways move up here today. You're up 148 ticks. You're trading uh, 95,849. We take a look at some, some of the higher volume equities out here today. And what we are going to have out here is that there's, there's going to be light volume out here today. You get uh, Pelletier's off $2. You get Advanced Micro down 4 bucks. NVIDIA's down 19 uh, DoorDash is up eight with the number of DoorDash deliveries. I think it's like something like 236 million in 90 days. It's a big number, man. Um, you got uh, Facebook is down uh, seven and a half dollars. You got Virgin Galactic off a buck fifteen. Um, Fastly is off nine fifty five. That's really a hit, man. That's only a twenty dollars stock. It was a thirty dollars stock. That thing just got smoked. Uh, bottom line, folks, is that yeah, we have some selling out here now. You know, you hear a million different things. You get selling because of Ukraine. You get selling because of the market. Bottom line, folks, my take on it, I'll tell you my take on it. Ukraine, Russia, nothing's going to happen. And the reason I'm saying that, folks, there's no way that you know, Biden comes out this morning, says it's um, imminent, and then gets on a helicopter and goes to Delaware, uh, goes to the next meeting. That doesn't happen when it's immediate folks okay are uh, imminent it just doesn't happen man that's the bottom line you're gonna have a freaking war you're gonna go into someone okay you're not you're not going anywhere you're staying right in that room so you know the, the rest the rest of this um you know i would say is just normal selling inside the marketplace why because the highs are in folks you know we're gonna i suspect we're gonna be in a consolidation maybe a couple years and we'll find out how big the consolidation is going to be, whether it's going to be the first leg down or do we do an ABC structure down and that'll be the consolidation. Dow Industrials right now down 643. You get the Nasdaq off 382, S&P's off 94. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TESS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TESS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks, to Dow. Dow's off 650. We got the Nasdaq uh, down to 386. S&Ps are off 94. Volatility in spades, man. There's no doubt about that. We got it cooking, folks. Let's take a look at some of the <clears throat> movers inside the Dow Industrial point-wise. You got Walmart putting 29 positive points. Cisco, 11. Procter & Gamble, 8. Coca-Cola, 7. Taken away from it. Goldman, minus 77. Salesforce, minus 75. United Health, 66. Microsoft 52. Let's get over to uh, Walmart. Walmart came out with their numbers last night. Bottom line, we got Walmart. Uh, this was a classic. We were talking about this uh, yesterday. We knew they were coming out with numbers. Bottom line, what you saw out here is that you were going into the last swing point. The swing point we're talking about here is going back to uh, January. The top of that swing point, what it, what it was doing yesterday was a rejecting lower price. That top of that swing point is at 133.75. Bottom line, rejected it. You know, it had enough volume yesterday, meaning light volume as a rejection. Rejected it higher. You're up uh, four and a half bucks. Walmart's up at four and a half bucks. Um, and bottom line, let's see what, what did they do number wise. Number wise revenue. Okay, so they took in to the top line 152 billion, 100, almost 153 billion, and put a buck 53 to the bottom line. So. Uh, they just, it, it, it's hard to comprehend how Walmart can keep growing, but guess what? Um, it's grown its revenue by 75, 72 billion in five years. <laughs> that's 15% in five years. So it's 3% a year. But when you're doing 3% a year and you're doing 140 billion every 90 days, that's real money, man. That's absolutely unbelievable, actually. Inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX. Oops, one second. There she is. There she is. Okay, so inside the Cisco, that's a blast from the past. This is one of the four Haasmen from the 90s, if you're around the 90s. It was uh, Cisco, Dell, Microsoft, and uh, Sun Micro. That's up 3.5% right now. You get uh, Kraft Heinz up 3%. Costco is up uh, 6 tenths of 1%, taken away from it. Mercado Libre is down. Nine and a half percent. You get Nvidia off seven and a half percent, and Zscaler is off seven uh, percent. So uh, let's see. Oh, bounce time. So let's see if we get bounce time going. Let's we'll go intraday into the indices and see what we got here. Let's do this. We get a few shekels here. Okay. So well, remember, hold it. This is cool. What, one second. We had we knew. It was yesterday, I believe, he had the ABC down. Yeah. Was that the number? Right there. 
Okay, okay, hold on one second. Let's do this this way. So that broke. That broke the B point. Okay, that's the way to do it. Okay, one second. Hold on. Here we go. So, so what I'm going to do right now, folks, is this. Yesterday we were talking about that ABC down. And this is really cool in the context of when you actually wake up in the morning and you understand from the prior day where the ABC structures are. It doesn't mean that you'll, you'll, they'll go, but the bottom line is that this one went. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going to do the A to B equals C to D and see what number comes down, because then we'll look at whether we're going to get a bounce or not. We probably did another one, but let's do this one first. So we got uh, 4483 to 4425. So what is that? You get 58 points. So then I'll take 58 off 4426. There you go, man. Okay. So this is cool. So you got, this, I think it comes right to almost to 4372. Um, that's your A to B equals C to D. So you finish an ABC structure on the way down, and that what that sets up is that, yeah, you can get a bounce. Let me pull this back a little bit more because I want to see what this is going into. There we go. Okay, so now here we go. There's always something they're going into, folks, and this is what you want to do. You pull that up, that bar right there. What does that bar have? That's the last right there. That's 71,000 contracts. Open this a little bit more. 71,000, and that's 41,000. That's what we just did. Yeah. So the 41 just went into 71. So we, yes, we should get a bounce. And I would say the bounce, that, then, what, then what you do is this. Then you go and say, okay, where's the last time that we actually come down with volume? And the bottom line is that this baby goes all the way up to like here, which is 4,400. So that's 20 bucks. So we'll see how it happens. That is saying you can be closed down 70. Still, still a monster, but the bottom line is that I'm just kind of doing these exercises so you can see kind of how these things shake out. Dow. So let's do the Dow for a second. So the Dow is under Monday's low. So what you do with that, you take this and you go, what is the volume from Monday? And that's 1.1 billion. Now, this is really cool, man. I'm telling you, you can learn a lot about the market out here today. And this is why. We did 1.1 billion shares on Monday. Right now, you're only at 538. As we come down into that level, you see, can see the contraction of volume is huge. Now, it's a Friday, granted, you know, maybe it goes a little bit lower tomorrow. But you should be setting up and looking at something for a bounce. But that's, that's the reality. And I suspect, it, hey, we'll see how it goes, but... Um, that's that's set up and set up in spades. Let's go into the NASDAQ composite and look at the composite. So we bring the composite up. Same deal, which is cool. Okay, composites always also coming into this bar. So now we're going to go back to Monday on the composite and look at the composite and say, okay, how many more sellers do we have? That's right, Jeff. There's no sellers out here, man. So Monday did 4.2 billion in the NYSE. Um, we did 3.2 today. Now, the composite can do a billion shares in 40 minutes. You know, so we'll see where you get a, the composite, you get a wait, really. I've seen that happen. I mean, that, that, that's a reality. So we'll see where it goes. Let's go take a look at the GDX of some of these gold stocks because you get a lot of ABC structures up on these babies. Um, we take a look at the, the GDX. That's trading up $1.40. $1. That swing point's 35.08. And you push it into a swing of volume. Now, what's going to happen here also is this. These are 100% move of a move. So what you can expect is that you're going to expect some kind of pullback, sideways move. Um, you know, the GDX in three weeks just went from $28 to 35 You know, you can expect something to go sideways uh, to go higher. Uh, my take is that the inflation... Numbers out of the bag, I mean, in a monster way, not in a small way. Um, this is not going to be a, an easy uh, get-go to put this uh, back inside of the bag. You know, you don't just start inflation, folks, and all of a sudden it just stops. The, you know, and we came in this, and we came in this fast and furious was realistically, you know, last May. 
And it seems to me that you just came, it seems like it came in all at once. One second, you know, things are going along, and then all of a sudden, bang, everything is up 23 to 30%, like, bang. Just, I mean, in six weeks, seven weeks, that's kind of how this whole thing went. And, um, you know, I, my take is it's right through the system. Uh, and, you know, it's going to take a few years uh, to basically uh, get that stopped. And getting it stopped is going to bring a recession. That's my, my take on the deal. You don't stop this without basically really doing some damage. Dow Industrials right now up 602, the Nasdaq's up 381, S&P's up 88. Stay right there, folks, come right back. Having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's down 603. We get the Nasdaq off 376. S&Ps are off 88. Let's go take a look at uh, Freeport Mac Moran for a couple of the Tigers out here. So you get Freeport Mac Moran, folks. Uh, this is one of the largest gold and copper companies in the world. The low is $29 for the last 52 weeks. The high is 46 you're trading at 43, 23, and whoops, there we go. Okay, so, yeah, this is this is building cost to blow away its high. In fact, it's gonna, probably going to be a big ABC up. You can see, when you go back to uh, last Thursday, uh, bottom line, you're hitting into the highs. And see that expansion of volume? You get expansion of volume, 29 million, going into 25, and then we back down with 17. This, this wants higher price. 
Uh, Rio, Rio Tinto, uh, bottom line, this baby, uh, same type of setup. Uh, you've already taken out the high in Rio Tinto. Let's see, that's, so it's 4.3. That needed more volume, so that's what it's doing right now. It's building cars. This is building cars for, for, to basically get back upside. You can see what happened here is this. Rio Tinto took out a swing, didn't have enough volume, ended up with a shooting star. Pulled back down, pulled back down into uh, 6.3 million with 4 million, and then it's going sideways. This is building more cars uh, for higher price. And the question is, is that what would be the impact of rising rates? So what, would ha what happens here, folks, is this. Any rising rates, period, okay, are going to bring down financial assets, that's the bottom line. I know that's hard to, like, all of us wrap our head around because things have been going up for so long. They got to squeeze until, <laughs> until you know, you can't squeeze anymore. I mean, you know, that's, that's, that's how it goes, man. Uh, now, that being said, the kicker goes like this. So here, this is, this is the bull and bear fighting in my own head about commodities right now. And this is what it is. That because we went up from... 23 to 30%, like just like that in May. It's like, okay, so do we go to another, we went to this level, do we stay at this level and level out? And, you know, things won't be that bad. I, I suspect, though, you know, real estate, I think real estate can pull back 15, 20%. I, I think that's real. Um, I put a house on the market, and I know some of your targets in, in both the targets, then you might have saw it. I put a house on the market, it'd be beautiful house. I, the bottom line, gorgeous house. That being said, though, guess what? The bottom line, put it on the market at 920, got 925 cash, closed like four or five more days. Um, great house, no doubt, but guess what? When you start getting at those levels, you start talking about big taxes, big insurance. Um, you know, we're, we're close. My, my take is that we're close, and we've been running for 14 years. So it's like, okay, you know. Um, so, you know, the, 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 the hard thing for folks that haven't been through a lot of cycles is that, and I have a lot of friends, trust me. I mean, we all know when you're in this business, you're in this business. And, you know, unless you've seen this, um, you'll stay bullish, and, we, you know, maybe it tops out a year. You know, most of the time I'm, I'm six or seven months ahead of myself, maybe a year, maybe it's a year. I don't even care if it's a year. It doesn't matter. I'm, I've been selling into it, and I'm going to keep selling into it. That's the bottom line. Um, kind of like the market. Right. Now, what, what I have been doing is this is what's so cool about being in the market, too, folks. So watch this. Check this out. So if we go and take a look at Toll Brothers, right? You're gonna see like, okay, man, you gonna do an ABC down now? I want, I want to, you know, we're gonna, I'm gonna look this real closely. It's like, okay, because the home builders themselves, folks, they topped out from the last get go. I remember, the, you know, just like this, the last get go, I had to wait two years for the get go on the way down. We'll see how long I have to wait this time. But the bottom line is that uh, if you take a look at Lanar, same type of setup, the home builders topped out approximately eight months to almost a year before the downdraft actually came. So the, the, the home builders themselves were showing that, okay, this is, this is weak, okay? That, that's what it comes down to. And what happens is that if you're in this business across the country, okay, what you want to know is this. You want to know what is the quality of the person that's buying your property. That's, get your head wrapped around that. Are they taking a second mortgage out? Are they just making it? They, that's all important aspects, okay? And my take is that that's kind of where we're at. But, you know, we'll see. The, the rent structure still supports big numbers. There's no doubt about that. We're getting big numbers rent structure-wise. That being said, though, it's like, you know, if I was, like, 30 and I'm growing up, it's like two different things will end up happening. It's like, okay, man. Can I work 24 hours a day? I don't mind working 16 hours a day, but it almost seems like you almost got to work 24 hours a day to have some. So, hey, we'll see where it shakes out. Bottom line, um, it's been a run, but I think what we're going to see, and I think the market is showing us that all financial assets are going to back down. And 
you know, it'll probably be in a consolidation, and you have five years from now, they'll all be higher. So, you know, if you get stuff in your IRA, man, you know, don't just sell it because depending on what your age is, okay, all you have to do is in an inflationary area, era, which we're in, hard assets are worth more money. That's the bottom line. That's what it comes down to because what ends up happening is that, let's say we only pull back, well, right thus far, the S&P has like done 15%. So if we're, if we're in, let's pull this up. So if we're in the consolidation and the top is the high, which is 48, and the low is 46, that's 15%, okay? Um, if we're not, and it's gonna make the leg down, we're gonna go down to uh, like 39. And that's not the end of the world either. Let's put that up just to see. That's, that's 20%, a little over 20. Where's 39? That's 40. There's 39. That, that's possible. If we, if we break that, then we're in trouble. But, you know, because if you break that, then you, you will get out of 33. Well, you don't have to go to 33. You can go to 35. But, you know, I'm encouraged. I can tell you this. I'm encouraged in the aspect of how we're coming down right now. And you don't have sellers. You know, you have the price destruction, but without sellers. So right now, the market's going to have a hard time actually breaking the swing low that we're talking about. And I don't think that's going to get tested for a little bit longer. It would be great if you're a bull, you want this thing tested right now. That's, that's the real bottom line. Because the quicker that we test that swing low, particularly after the amount of selling that we've had, the higher probability that you're going to go topside the big way. Let's go take a look at Royal Gold. You need to see, look at this thing, man. Oh, my God. Look at this thing. It's up nine and a half dollars. You talk about a takeoff. This thing just took off like a rocket ship. Now, what happens, I've talked about this before. This is what happens with Royal Gold. With Royal Gold, the, inside their contracts, as gold reaches certain amounts, what ends up happening is the contract value goes up so much dramatically. Let's say that they're getting um, a royalty of 6 or 7% gross on it. Well, it hits 17, 8, well, 1900, it could go from 6 or 7% to 8.5 or 9%. That's, a, that's how the contracts are read. And if you really want to dig into it, you can just, you know, bottom line, go to the SEC, you can pull up the contracts. I did this a long time ago. It's, you know, understanding, really fundamentally understanding these companies and how they run. And that's the big kicker, understanding what are the contracts. And as gold hits every level, most, well, I know Royal Gold's contracts in probably Franklin, Nevada, they go up. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Dow Industrial's down 563. NASDAQ's off 368. S&P's off 84. We'll come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, let's go to DoorDash. So DoorDash, man, they got some numbers here. So the low for the year in DoorDash, last 52 weeks is 91. The high is 257. This, this is a company that no doubt has got smoked. Uh, Revenue-wise, let's take a look at it. So revenue-wise, they did $1.3 billion, and uh, they made the... No, no, they lost 45 cents. Oh, yeah, they lost 45 cents. I want to show you the... Now, now this is up nine 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 and a half dollars. Let me pull this. I want to. I got to see this because. Wait to see these orders. This is amazing how much we we basically, order. DoorDash saw twenty five percent in early trading Thursday after the company reported record number of people ordered food. Um, okay, here it is. Listen to this number. Customers placed three hundred and sixty nine million orders in the period, representing a thirty five percent increase from a year earlier. Now. I believe if DoorJazz is just in the United States, I believe in the United States, there's only 330 million people, <laughs> right? So that's pretty cool, man. I mean, they're getting some business there. So now let's go look at this baby and see what we got. Okay, so last three months, you're talking about getting soaked. Oh, man, 252 down to $93. And I believe... We take a look at this. This is what I'm a public good, I think. Issue information. Oh, man, look at this. So it went public and December 8th, 2020 at $102. So uh, the good news is that it's back to its public price. Okay, so now let's put it on a weekly. Okay. So 174. I, I, it, if you're thinking of getting into DoorDash, folks, this is the way that I suggest you may want to look at it. So it has a sign of strength today. Normally, when you get a sign of strength, folks, okay, what will end up happening, you'll get an additional sign of strength and go up for a few days. Then what you want to see is this. You want to see how it pulls back into this area because realistically, this will probably come back and retest the $100 area. If it retests the $100 area, and it does it with light volume, yeah, be all over it. Because that would be saying that the, tre the trend has changed and uh, it doesn't take much to basically get to higher price when you've got smoke like this in a monster way. Uh, the shot position was 5.1%. That's not a huge shot position. Uh, let's go take a look at uh, PLTR. Is that, what is that? Planetary? Okay. You got... Uh, Okay, this equity, you get a low of $11, a high of 30 I don't, you know, I can tell you something, man. This equity, be really careful of it, man. I was, lo I was looking at this, and this looks to me like, see, let me show you something, man. This is sick. I have no idea how I even got that high. Even at this price right here, you're paying $60 for $1 of earnings at $11. The low for the year, $11.75. The high is $30. It looks to me like it's going to do an ABC structure down. It is. Oh, it already is. One second. Let's see. Home. Oh, no, it hasn't hit the... So, here, check this out. Okay. You need... 
first off, the price projection, uh, no, the B point is $11.75. We got to $11.84 today, but see the, see the amount of volume? This is going to break this. This is going to break this low. So the question is, ABC structure down, I think, 19 7 bucks. That's going to get you to $7.35. That's, that's how this thing is shaking out. And right now you're at eleven eighty. Yeah, it's a mess. Oh, look at this though. Oh, this ten dollars. Okay, so ten dollars is game for sure. Oh, yeah. What was this? A spark? Let me look at this issue. It was a spark. So it started at ten dollars. Guess what? It's eleven eighty two. We'll probably get on a seven seventy. These sparks, folks, have taken people to the cleanest in such a dramatic way. It's unbelievable, man. Um, they're just yeah. They just Toasted them, roasted them, all of the above. Netflix. Let's go take a look at Netflix out here. Netflix right now, that's running out. At, uh, it's down 10 bucks. So that's consolidating. Is it the top of its lows yet? 387. 379. This can hit 370. This will probably test 379 again. And now let's go look at the king, Amazon. So Amazon's down 53 bucks. Light volume. This is a nice setup, man. Amazon. So you want, you know, in a downdraft like this, folks, okay, the bottom line is that you want to look at the strongest stocks. And the strongest stocks in a downdraft are going to stick out like a sore thumb. And, you know, stop making a list of them. That's the real bottom line. If you stop making a list of them, it's going to make a huge difference. We go take a look at uh, HIMX. Uh, this is down a buck and a quarter. Lows nine dollars. The high seventeen thirty. Let's see. Interesting. So this went to ten dollars. Rejected that. Let me put this on a weekly for a second. Yeah, it's still. It's going back. This is back. This is going back into its uh, breakout area. Nine seventy. Did ten oh one. That might have been all right. That might have been good enough for it. Um, you got to, you'll build some cause in this baby, but I, I suspect uh, that's what it's looking like. Like going sideways, rejected lower price, didn't get to its lowest swing point. When you don't get to your lowest swing point, that means quite a bit. Let's go take a look at the platinum market. We haven't done that for a while. Platinum, where are you? Platinum. Spot. I'll take spot. Okay, so we're at 1,093. Nice move. Okay, so next move up here is 11.06. And then you got uh, 13.39. So let's do, we're going to go to the gold market for a second. Because what I want to do in gold, I want to show you this much larger ABC structure. Because that's where I think we're going with this thing. You know, we'll see whether this is the move already, which it could be. Okay, so if I take this, we put this on a monthly. What you're going to see, see, when we, when we did this pullback, and now this is on a monthly, okay? We only did a 0 .382 of the monthly on the way back. So as this approaches 2063, if we get the juice on it, this is a monster ABC structure up. Uh... About 850. Yeah, it's 2,500. That's, that's where I think we're actually going. So we'll see how this shakes out. You know, we'll have to take this B point out, take it out with volume in 2063. But you know what? Over the, over the course of so many years, it would make sense to me that just on a fundamental basis, you'd be at 2,500. You know, it's not, it's, not, it's not a big deal. Because when I started the gold report, gold was trading at $282.50. I bought it. I'll never forget that. It was like, my God. I mean, you know, you've heard the story. Every time I go shopping, I couldn't even buy a shirt because I have to buy another ounce of gold. Because I'm saying, myself, do I want a shirt or a pair of pants or an ounce of gold? They're like, are you kidding me, man? Like, cause, because I knew that an ounce of gold takes 10 ton tons of dirt to get an ounce of gold. I'll buy, go buy a couple shirts. Wasn't, that wasn't too hard to figure that out. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Dow's down 633. NASDAQ's off 391. S&P's off 94. We'll come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. It's selling right into the close here. You got the uh, Dow Industrials right now down uh, 651. NASDAQ's off uh, 410. S&Ps are off uh, 96. And percentage-wise, we have out here, folks, you get the NASDAQ down 2.9%, S&Ps, as well as the Dow Industrials down 1.87. Now, what's going to get intriguing here is this. You have Friday, option expiration, and we're closed Monday. So this is going to get really dicey, man. Uh, my take still, you're not going to go break this one right now. We'll go, we'll go after it. There's no doubt about it. If we go take a look at the NASDAQ composite, I suspect the composite is going to go after it. Yeah, still, the composite. The NDX is actually closer to it, I believe. Now yeah, they're both about the same. You know, the NDX has, has gone into the bars enough that this thing can get hit, which is which would be thirteen thousand seven twenty four. And as I said a little bit earlier, um, you know, bottom line, if you are a bull, you want this to be tested right now because of the way this, these past two weeks. So when we went down there, folks. You get down there, you go back up, come back down, go up, back, come back, go up, come back. That's way too many times going down. Um, and the, the market gets exhausted. That's, 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 what, that's what happens. And you can see from this little get-go, you know, I, I, hey, we'll, we'll find out, but that's, that's my take on this thing. You know, we know that the contraction of volume today is going to be dramatic. And let's go look at this quickly. So if we look at the NYSE... I believe we were saying 
Yeah, so here it is. We need 1.1 billion. We're at 645 million. They'll, they'll add some there. And if we go to the composite, the composite is at 3.7, 4.2. That still can get 500 million in a few minutes. The, the, the composite, by the way, is a whole different animal. They can throw so much at, at the composite, folks. At the, at the close, it's just absolutely unbelievable. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out the bull can run you over, and thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Great show. Please tell your friends about it. Kip, we're going to get together, brother. You know, I mean, time, folks, is an unbelievable thing. Have a great one. Have a safe one, folks. Mm -hmm.